YouTube, welcome back to uh, a new video, and today we have the finale of the Pet Sim tutorial series. This is the last part, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna just get right into it. Today we're going to be exporting all of these and um, importing them into Studio. So this is gonna help you um, on importing your UI from Photoshop into Studio, so it is uh, ready to be scripted. So, all right, so here's how this is gonna work. Um, to export all these frames that we have, here's how we're gonna do it. All right, let's dissect each part. Okay, so you see these buttons here, right? So this button is the fourth one, okay? So you see each button, right? I'm just gonna name this uh, left button. For example, uh, this thing right here. Here's how we're gonna do it. The, plus icon we're gonna we're going to group these two and this right here is going to be the plus icon all right this is the back plate okay keep that in mind and these two right here merge these and this is going to be the xp bar all right let's hide all the text and because we already have one back plate we don't have to name these two because they are the same thing so we got that and we also have the bottom button all right so now we're going to select everything we're going to export forgot to merge these two actually xp bar so we have xp bar uh, plus icon backplate we have the left button and bottom button right here so this is all we're going to export for the hud so i'm going to right click quick export as png i'm going to make a new folder called pets and ui export in a new folder again it's going to be the hud and now i'm just going to hit select folder and you guys will see if we go right here you can see all these elements are now here i'm going to show you guys how to export something like this so first of all right here we're going to hide all the text um, except for buttons if you want to keep the text on buttons you can so for the button I'm gonna group it up call this the okay button and uh, group the whole background together this is going to be the back plate and now the x button is just going to be the x hold control click on all these right click let's go quick export and we're going to go back make a new folder called new updates we're going to hit ok and it's going to export as well so uh yeah that's all you got to do just do the same thing for all the rest of these um obviously for the x button you don't have to export this over and over if you already have so uh, turn off all the text as you can see um, um, now I'm gonna show you guys how to actually import and set this up in studio all right so we're here inside a an empty base plate uh, so let's just get right into it we're gonna go to asset manager right here we're just gonna hit publish or right, you want to hit bulk import inside images okay so hit this button and now I'm gonna go for the HUD first. I'm just going to click, hold shift, click on all these and hit open. Now all these are gonna load. All right, so now you wanna go into starter GUI, hit this add button, I'm gonna add a screen GUI and hit add. Then we're gonna add a frame, right? So we have our frame right here. Um, if you want to do all the map stuff, you can, but I'm just gonna go one for one. 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 Uh, this is just for an example. Um, background transparency. I'm gonna put one. All right. So we got a bunch of buttons. Uh, let's inside the frame. Let's add a image button, as you can see. And for this one, let's make this the left button. So for the image button, uh, let's go for image right here and make this the left button as you can see let's go for background transparency right here make this into one and now you see we have our our little button right here i want to scale it down just like that right here and obviously you could copy it so now we have three buttons like that all right um now let's add the stuff on the right side 
obviously you can organize this better but <laughs> uh, okay let's go for add let's go for image label this time uh, let's get right here let's change the image to the back plates okay so you also want to add it so image image uh, transparency back okay place this one right here onto the right side and you can also add a image button again this one is going to be the plus icon background transparency this is going to go right here so there we go perfect and uh, last but not and lastly we have image label we're going to add a it's gonna be XP label. obviously you want to name these things so they are um, <laughs> organized so background transparency one and this is going to go right here but uh, yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video obviously you could use this for every ui that we make on the channel so but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and uh we have a ton more tutorials coming soon um leave a like subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys next time